Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be ranking my liquid lipsticks. So I took one liquid lipstick from each formula I have. I mean, some of them I only have one in, but for ones I have multiple shades and I just took my favorite shade or one of my favorites from that line and I have ranked them. So we're going to go from bottom to top with me just giving quick explanations of why this is my like one of my least favorite formulas I own, one of my favorites. I just did a lipstick declutter before this, which I, th I think it should be uploaded before this. If not, definitely hit subscribe and stay tuned for that. But otherwise, let's just go and get into this. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I'm a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber, and I love finding a good deal on makeup, so most of the makeup brands I feature on my channel are more affordable. And I also love Splash of Fun nerdiness, like some Harry Potter, some Disney, project panning, decluttering, all that fun stuff. So I hope you hit subscribe and let's go ahead and get right into the bottom one. Okay, so I have 10 liquid lipstick formulas here. So number 10 is the Hard Candy Wet Ever Bold Hold Lip Lacquer and this is in the shade Ambitious. I did own three of these at one point. One of the shades was in red and it just it never looked right and it, this is a very messy formula so the red got everywhere and the lighter one I think I might still have but it just it, it kind of washes me out a little bit more it's not my favorite so this is the shade ambitious and I love hard candy products for the most part but this is incredibly thick and glossy I love a glossy lip. I love some pigmentation like this. However, this does not stay put very well, even with a lip liner. It really, it can really like start to get outside the lip line. If you accidentally touch your face, this will get on your hand or it will smear, it will get everywhere. It's a very messy product. So I keep this one, this in this shade ambitious because I really just love the color. And I do like the product mostly but it's not something I would go out and purchase more shades in so that's why it's my number 10. I just I love this color I love this how impactful it is but it is like it is a pain like you're gonna have to you're if you're gonna eat with this on you're gonna want to like pat your lips off first unless you're eating with a fork maybe but if you're biting into anything it will get everywhere so that's why this one's at the bottom it's fun to play with but it's not something I would wear frequently or repurchase like shades in so number 10 right there. So number nine, I have the Too Faced Melted Metal Liquefied Metallic Lipstick in Metallic Jelly. So I have, I had some of these other melted lipsticks. They did go bad after a while, so I don't have them anymore. But I like them. The applicator is, it's like one of those doe foot kind of applicators. It's not my favorite, but it's kind of like comfortable. It's not, it's not terrible. So this one has made it a little bit lower because it's more... It's supposed to be like a liquefied metallic lipstick and it's kind of sheer like that's after a few coats and if you you know if you compare it to that that's quite pigmented so it just depends on your preference of course but for me I do like a little more pigment um, especially for such a pretty like darker shade this is very comfortable to wear so I definitely like it for that and it's, it's nicer for like when you're wearing like a little less makeup perhaps or you're just kind of looking for a softer lip color so it's not bad but for me when I'm going for liquid lipsticks I'm usually looking for longevity comfort and like some strong pigment because I would rather have a bright red liquid lipstick than a bright red like bullet lipstick unless the bullet lipstick stays put pretty well just because the liquid lipstick usually will dry down and stay put I mean it doesn't with the hard candy one of course but some of these other ones I'm going to show you most of them do like dry down so this just isn't my favorite but I do like it. it's still fun like I'll still continue to use it I do keep in mind I do declutter my collection frequently so I'll I'll link the declutter playlist if you want to check that out so most of the things I'm showing you I actually really do like but it's just the difference between really really love and like like what do we have here so number eight this is my blush tribe and I have an eyeshadow palette from them the Hesina 2 I love but I was not so impressed with their liquid lipstick this is the shade gravity and this is supposed to have like, it's supposed to be very glittery lipstick. So this is the tube. The tube's, you know, really pretty, soft and simple. I have the shade Gravity. The color, I don't know, it just kind of, like, I mean, you tell me. Does this look glitter, like, like it has glitter or, like, sparkle to it? Because it really doesn't to me. It doesn't have the full name of the product on here. I'll put it, 
I'll put it on screen because it does have something along the lines of like glitter or sparkle and this has no I mean it's it's kind of a nice like kind of burnt orangey brown shade which typically wouldn't be my forte but I actually really like the color but I don't think it lives up to what it's like supposed to be so that was problem number one problem number two is this is a more drying formula now it does stay put it is pigmented so I like that the longevity is definitely there but comfort wise it's not the best so I'm probably not going to repurchase more shades in this actually I pretty much probably will never um, it, I'll continue to wear it I do enjoy it I'm just disappointed because it doesn't live up to what it was supposed to be like with the glitter and then it's a little less than comfortable it's not terrible like I can wear this and it's not the worst thing but it's just it's definitely not the most comfortable product I've tried so that's why this is number eight okay number seven I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Liquified <laughs> Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade it's happening it's more of a like a travel size now the Melted Jelly one was from the same line but it was a metallic version this is their original matte formula I like this better the color is very <laughs> It's a very rich color. As you can see, I love a bright lipstick. My only complaint about this is that it does sometimes... I'm compl um, What is it called? Where it gets outside your lip line a little bit. Like it just kind of... Uh, it, it sometimes transfers. So that's the only thing I have to say about it. Overall, it does stay put. It's pretty comfortable. The pigmentation is there, but it doesn't stay put as well as some of the other liquid lipsticks that are at a higher rank. So that's really the only reason it's a little bit lower on the list. I wish it was a little more transfer proof, but overall it's comfortable. Like if I found some of these at a good deal, I would probably pick more up. So it's not, I like the product overall. I just wish it was a little, little less tr transfer proof. Okay, so next I have an Ulta Beauty Matte Metallic Liquid Lipstick. This is really cool. So I got this I think it was in some sort of kit, and I really like the Ulta Beauty makeup line. I, I feel like it's not talked about enough, but there's some really good gems in there. This is in the shade Mixed Emotions. I will try to link everything I can down below for you, as I always do, and I've also I've been including makeup I've been wearing as well down below, just so you can, because, you know, in case you like something I'm wearing, that way it's there in the description for you. So this is beautiful. This is kind of what I wish the Blush Tribe one was like. I mean, the blush tribe one was supposed to be more, like, glitter infused, I think, but, like, look at how, if it had been like this, I would have been happy, because look at how beautiful that is. It stays very, like, wet and metallic looking on the lips. This is the ultimate holiday Christmas lipstick. I mean, really, like, it's, it's beautiful red, it really livens up the face, and it's metallic. I mean, what could be... That's, that's pretty Christmas to me, and yes, I'm already thinking about Christmas and it's July, but that's how I roll. Anyways, but this is such, a, I mean, look at this. You can see from a distance how beautiful it is. It's reflective. Honestly, it it transfers a little bit like most of these, but it's, it's pretty minimal overall, like a lot less certainly than like a bullet lipstick would. So I really like this. I, I don't have too many complaints for this. Honestly, we're going up from here. We're kind of in the, set, we're the upper half now. And I'm starting to get to the point where I'm like, yeah, I like all of these. It's just kind of splitting hairs and what do I wear more kind of thing. But this is beautiful. I love pulling this out. It's a great lipstick, especially for like if you're going out for a party, Christmas, whatever. It, it's, it's so beautiful. It's like one of those lipsticks that's sure to get a compliment or a comment on because it's like beautiful. So I, I love this. I need to wear this more. I'm like, what am I? I should have wore that today. It would have been Christmassy already, but... Yeah, this is a great, if you're looking for a really great metallic liquid lipstick, try this because the Too Faced one, I mean, look at the difference. See how washed out this is? And it's not really that reflective or metallic, honestly, but like, look at that. So there's a huge difference between, between those two, and this is less expensive. So definitely go with the Ulta Beauty if you're looking for a metallic, like, show-stopping liquid lipstick. They're so, so pretty. Next, I have the Stila... Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I have the shade Patina. This is supposed to be like a cult classic liquid lipstick. And I think this is the shade that everyone really talked about for a while when these were popular. This is the probably the newest lipstick to me. It's... Okay. What I will say for this is it is pretty. It is pigmented. It does dry down. It looks a little wet right now because I just swatched it. But that's the shade. Really pretty. Great everyday color. I like it. 
I, I do like it, but I don't know that I would pay full price for this. Like, it's it's very good, don't get me wrong, like, I will use this and keep this. I don't see myself decluttering this and, unless it's going bad, but I don't know if I would keep this. I would, maybe if they had, like, like, they have those holiday sets with, like, the little ones and they're, like, at a discounted price, I might try that just for getting more colors in it, but I don't know if I'd pay full price for this. I would wait for a sale or something, because I think it's very good, but I don't know if it's really worth, like, the $20 for it. I mean, if you see a shade that's, like, a must-have, I will wear this, like, many times a week shade, I would say it's worth it then. But if you're someone like me who has a larger selection of colors or likes to wear a lot of different colors and formulas, I don't know if it's really worth it for me. Actually, it really isn't. I would only buy more of these if I found them at TJ Maxx, which sometimes I do find these at TJ Maxx. I think that's where I got this one, actually. Or if I found it in a good value kit or something, but I don't think I would ever go out and purchase a full-sized shade unless I was making a lot more money than I am currently, maybe. Maybe. But that's why it's kind of lower, because it's, it's very good. There's not much to really talk about. Overall, I mean, it's, it's pretty much dried down now, as you can see. I touch it, and there's a little bit of transfer still, but it's not bad. It's definitely better than most of the ones I've shown so far. So overall, I mean... It's not totally transfer proof, but it's pretty close. Like, it, it's pretty good for that. It wears comfortably. It wears a long time. The pigment and color I really enjoy. So I don't have anything negative to say other than the price, I think, is something I wouldn't pay for personally. But it really depends on, you know, your situation. And if you are someone who wears the same shade over and over and over, then this probably would be worth it for you. It could be. It's a very nice formula. I would recommend, if you can, trying it out at some point because it is it is really comfortable. Like it, I understand why this was kind of a cult favorite for a long time. It is very comfortable and this is a very beautiful like mauve matte shade. Okay, next one. This is kind of similar to the one I just showed you. This is the Estate Wet Matte. Now that confuses me. I got this in a subscription box and I was like, wet matte. Aren't those the opposite of each other? Like matte versus like wet, which I think of like glossy looking. I don't understand the name, but it's in the shade Shade. Yeah, and <laughs> I got this in a subscription. It's kind of a sort of similar shade. I think it's a little darker, we'll see. Okay, so that's the shade there. So it's it's in the same realm as the Stila one. I put this a little bit higher. Honestly, the formula is pretty similar. I could reach between this and the Stila one kind of interchangeably. I find them to both be comfortable. I find the Estate one here to, versus the Stila to be a little bit lighter weight. Like, it's very thin formula. It, it really... The reason this wins out a little bit over Stila for me, despite them being very similar shades and like products, is because A, I believe this one's a bit cheaper, and B, it's a little bit lighter weight and a little more moussey feeling, so I find it to be just a tad more comfortable and desirable. Like, the Stila one is very comfortable to me, but if I can get something that works just as well, but it's a little bit lighter weight, for the most part, I would go for it. So this one one out by just a bit. They're both very good, very similar colors as you can see on my hand there. Really pretty. I, I like both. <laughs> They're very good. All right, number three. We're in the top, the very like top three now. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I own like four of these. I love them. I, I really did not know about these until this year. And this is in the shade Budapest, the one I'm going to be sharing. This is such a beautiful color. It has like a nice... If I said the state one is moussey, this one is definitely even more moussey. It's a little bit more of like a whipped feeling. It's very lightweight like the estate one, but it's even like a touch more comfortable and I think also even less expensive. So I, And I own more shades in it, so clearly, you know, I have, I have more of an affinity towards the next ones. Very lightweight. I like that this is a smaller bottle. It's perfect for keeping in your purse or bag traveling. It's very lightweight and moussey, comfortable. The soft matte lip cream, that's a perfect name for it. It really is a lip cream. So if you have drier lips and you struggle with liquid lipsticks, but you really like a matte liquid lipstick, this one I would check out because it is very, very lightweight and overall pretty transfer proof. But let's see. Like I just kissed my hand pretty hard. You can see there's a little bit of an outline there but it's not too bad. Like if I was to go and eat like a sandwich right now, 
this wouldn't be the biggest disaster. Whereas if I took that hard candy one or some of these other ones, even this metallic one I love, it would be a little messier. Um, but yeah, I love these soft matte lip creams. I definitely recommend trying them. I don't know why it took me so long to try these, but they are very comfortable. Okay, two more. This is the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Liquid Lipstick. The writing has worn off. I love these. I own a couple. This is in the shade Tulip. It's my favorite. I'm actually running out of the shade Cherry Blossom, which is kind of like a mauve shade. Really pretty. This is not as transfer proof as some of these other shades I'm showing you, like the Stila, the Estate one. It's not as transfer proof, but it's beautiful. Again, if you have drier lips, this is a little bit more comfortable of a liquid lipstick. Not as transfer proof, but still more transfer proof than most like bullet lipsticks and insanely comfortable. These are so pigmented. I love the moussey feeling. The applicator is easy to apply. These are just so comfortable. Like I could have extremely dry lips and wear these and it still looks pretty smooth on my lips. So I really recommend these. I need to get more shades. I keep saying that. I really do. I love these. They're, they're so comfortable, pigmented, beautiful. They're kind of like the perfect in between a bullet lipstick and a matte liquid lipstick. You kind of get some of the benefits from both. So I really like this combination. And my last pick, my favorite pick, this is the Bomb Cosmetics, the Meet Matte Hughes Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I love their packaging. It's very cute, as all the Bomb products are. This one in particular is the shade Dedicated, which is like the brightest raspberry shade ever. It's very, yeah. It's like that, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's like the shade Ambition, but less glossy, because that's Ambition. Well, it's a little lighter, but that's the shade right there. It does dry down. This has a very nice, like, mint scent. It really reminds me of, like, Thin Mints, like the Girl Scout cookie. Smells good. So it's very like minty scent, which I personally like. I love mint, so that works well for me. These are so comfortable. They're like a one swipe pigmented product. You're not gonna have to go over it like some, like um, what, let's see, like the Estate one I mentioned. You do sometimes have to go over a little bit. Same with the NYX ones. They're a little more lightweight, so they can be a little more see through. So I sometimes have to go over like spots, just one more time, just to make sure I get it fully like covered all over my lips but this one you do not have to worry about once it's dried down it's dried down it's very comfortable on the lips it's pretty transfer proof overall I really really enjoy the formula they also on the bomb bombs website they sell a bunch of kits that have multiple minis of these and I own a kit from that and I love it it's a perfect way to pick up a couple of shades in it highly recommend trying that out this is the one full size I own and with the Balm Cosmetics, I always recommend waiting because every couple of months, if you follow their Instagram, they have a half-off sale for their, like, entire website. So, unless you need something, like, urgently, wait for that sale because it's half-off. And the Balm is kind of a, a mid-range, like, for prices. Like, it's not as high-end, maybe, as, like, Sephora prices, but it's definitely not drugstore. So, if you wait for the half-off sale, you're going to get some good drugstore prices and... I always appreciate that. So, I mean, this is just a beautiful color, a rich raspberry. These are so easy to wear, comfortable. I love the minty smell. The transfer proofness is there for the most part. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, it, it's just a great product. I really like these. I need to, I, wanna, I really want to pick up another one of those kits with all the little minis because it, it's a great way to get multiple shades. And the minis are really convenient as well. So, Oh, I love that mint scent. Okay, so that is my, my number one pick because overall, when I look at all the products on my hand right now, I know that the Balm one is about as transfer proof as the Stila one, but more opaque than the NYX and the Estate one. Just as pigmented as Hard Candy and almost, almost just as comfortable as Hard Candy. I mean, the Hard Candy one, it doesn't dry down on the lips. The Balm one does, so it's a, it's a touch... I mean, it has to be a touch more drying because it's actually drying down on the lips, but it's still very comfortable. So those are my picks. Wow. I feel like I've been talking very fast. I'm sorry if I was talking too fast. Please let me know in the comments below what is your favorite liquid lipstick formula. I would love to know. I, I really like liquid lipsticks. I know glosses are in right now, and I do like a good lip, lip gloss or a good glossy like liquid lipstick like this. I really do, but I still find the convenience of a like a liquid lipstick that dries down to be really great because 
you don't have to reapply it every like two, three hours or something. So that's why I still want to rank these even though they're a less popular product. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what product liquid lipstick you would recommend. I would love to know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, I hope you'll hit subscribe. I do upload three or more videos a week. Cruelty-free content. I don't want you to miss out, so definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well if you enjoyed this kind of content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!